going on guys we have this question right here this asking determine the force in each member of the truss state if the members are in tension or compression so first of all they have provided that 300 lb is acting downward so we know that uh, this is going to be opposite the force is going to be opposite direction here right here and since that is right like that this is going to be like this and we know if this is going upward this is going to be like this and this is going to be this so this is going to be this this is going to be like this this is going to be pulling outside and we know this is uh, this doesn't have any force since this doesn't have a doesn't have anything this also doesn't have anything and this is going to be pulling inside so these are all the directions so first thing we can do is we, we have this information right here the vertical component so let's use that and find uh, what we can find so at i'm beginning with that d sigma fy in statics the total force is zero so sigma fy if i take the vertical component first of all i had to know the angle of this to calculate the dc right so in order to do that i to use the tan theta tan inverse and this is exactly half at this point so it's going to be 1.5 1.5 over 2 so the angle comes out to be 36.9 degree 36.9 degree so we can use this information to this question so it's going to be uh, if i take the vertical component it's going to be dc sine theta sine theta so sine theta and 300 lb acting downward so it's going to be minus 300 equal to zero so sine theta so you plug the this theta value here and if you find the, if you solve for dc you will get you will get 500 lb 500 lb and 500 pounds and this is um, since if you see the direction they both in uh, they both arrows are facing toward each other it means it's on tension And since we have this information, let's uh, use the, let's find the horizontal component of D. So F of X, the total force is zero in statics. And to find the horizontal component, I had to use DC cos theta. DC cos theta. DC cos theta and uh, if you see the DA is the face, uh, it's acting opposite side because if you see DC cos theta is going this side, right? But DA is going opposite, so it's minus DA minus DA is equal to zero. Therefore, DA is going to be equal to DC cos theta. We have found the DC already, so if you put cos theta for this value you will end up getting da is equal to 400 lb 400 pounds and this is going to be compression because the arrows are face, facing opposite to each other therefore it's going to be compression so this is my da value so we have found this one this one and we only have left uh, CB so since they haven't provided any force we know in C we know this is this side is uh, 500 right this side this side is 500 pounds we have found uh, DC is 500 pounds therefore this is in this uh, the total force should be equal to zero therefore this side also 500 pounds so from this one 
we know that CB is equal to 500 pounds and it's in tens and because the arrows are fa facing each other therefore this is in tens and this is my final answer let's see we have found so this is we have found this one this one this one and this doesn't have any force this doesn't have any force so we are all set I hope you guys like this video see you next time